Hello people and welcome back to Maxime channel, a channel that features only the craziest biker encounters ever caught on their camera. Today's episode is going to be really special because you will witness a lot of road rage and when bikers fight back moments. Make sure to grab your snacks and sit tight for this one. Without any further ado, let's get this show going. Why am I failing? Because this is my first amendment, right? This biker is an independent journalist and he does a lot of vlogging in his spare time. Apparently, there are people out there who are not familiar with the First Amendment, but instead of educating themselves, they prefer to get hostile. Camera, Are you threatening me? I, I'm just asking you a question. Did you hear me threaten you, dude? Uh, yeah. What you gonna do about it? You came up almost hit me in your car, dude. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. This whole bus has surveillance, stupid. Good, and I'm not stupid. You are stupid. Freedom of speech. Why are you watching your mouth? Why you gotta talk like that? Why are you here? Why are you here? Business. Put some clothes on, dude. When you roll around in your pajamas like a freak. Look at this guy. Harassment. More public harassment, guys. Look at this guy. We got his plate number. Look at him shaking. He's shaking. You know, you know what? Look how f scared he is. You know what? You Look kinda, how scared he is. You kind of annoy me. Look how scared he is. Yeah. Oh, that's a better one. Can you smile? Yeah, here. Here. There. Here. Stop harassing me and my family, please. Stop harassing my family, please. Yeah, Stop harassing my family. Yeah, we know the police very well, yeah. so we're local. Oh, gotcha. We live here. So, we're about. Like, we live... Uh, don't ask me twice. We're yeah. only here for a little bit, like everybody else. Alright. Okay. Okay. So, You're anyway. not associated with that RV over there. Yeah, so anyway, the, the manager... Yeah, I, I know. The, I the know. manager is going to be... That's cool. I know the manager. We're here for business. And yeah, what's your name? McDonald's, Safeway. The folks at smoke shop right there. We're conducting business. We'll be here for a little bit longer. We'll be gotcha. out of here. Okay. All right. Sorry. So you, you know Bye. who she is. What? You know who she is. I know who all they all are. The police. Okay. All two right. five. Gun enforcement. Okay. Okay. All right. You gonna go talk to them over there next? Uh, nobody's in there right now. Did you go knock the door? Knock on the door. I have not knocked on the door. So how do you know no one's there? Well, you know, I'll find out. Okay. So Cause you came to our door. It you came to my door. We just let the police handle it. Oh. Because of all the laws involved. Why are you here then? I, I do the maintenance around here. That's cool. Uh, large percent. A young lady was walking in the middle of the road trying to find an Uber. But the biker who approached her only wanted to tell her to move out of the road. But the whole situation had an unexpected twist to it. That's my sister just walking down the street. That girl because she's trying to find our Uber. Because she's trying to find our car. She's trying to find a ride. Okay, which means get the f out the road. Well, she's young. She's squad. Just as the biker was filtering through traffic, he noticed a Karen trying to open her door without checking if other vehicles might pass by. Of course. The biker was not happy with her decision, and before you know it, we're in a heated road rage argument. What? Oh, oh, oh. 
Alors, si vous les pliez, vous nous verrez pas, madame. Je vais pas y voir après le temps. Vous commencez pas les histoires, d'accord Alors, écoutez-moi bien, vous êtes garé, votre rétro il est plié, vous avez ouvert votre portière et vous êtes rendu compte qu'après j'étais là. Et alors Et pas avant Les codes de la route, c'est pour et qui C'est pour avance, d'accord Tu vas faire quoi sinon là Et t'arrives quoi Ouais, 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 allez, allez, c'est bon. Putain, un connasse, va Vous êtes monté en l'air, moi Sale pute This road rage came about because of a car accident. Clearly, the two drivers were not happy at all, and neither of them wanted to accept the blame, even though one of them definitely caused it all. This is your typical self-entitled Darren rage. Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah, Coming from work, finishing work properly, this is massive, so I'm definitely not driving in the car. A lot of drivers don't know the basics when it comes to traffic rules and regulations. In this video, for example, the driver stopped in the middle of the road, even though he was not obliged to do so. Nice evening. I hope there's some more traffic. Maybe I should just uh, on purposely go into more traffic. Why the f are you stopping? doing it's a road to f come out you, you, you don't have to stop to let other cars you have a separate lane to come out not to freaking stand there and wait like an idiot in this video we have one real circus show unfold right before our very eyes biker got stopped by cyclist and it looks like they're having a friendly conversation but the positive energy shifted quickly stay tuned for this one hey, what do you have? उसने मेरे ज्यादा बन के दिखाएगा और क्या चल यहां से भागो हाथ के हाथ कैसे लगा रहे हो आप छोटा सा पिद्दा है तू हाथ कैसे लगा रहे हो तेरे अंदर कॉमन सेंस है नहीं है हाथ कैसे लगा तेरे अंदर दिमाग है या नहीं है 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 तू तू कैसे लड़ाई कर रहा है तो हाथ कैसे लगा रहे हो आप बिना फालतू में इसको देख रहा बार-बार कोई आ रहा है क्या तेरे साथ वाला है पता कोई भी आए मैं तो इस सड़क को देख रहा हूं बच्चे आ रहे हैं जाएं यहां से क्यों जाऊं चल जा ओ हो कहां आया ये तो अपनी जबरदस्ती हो गई तेरी और क्या हैं और क्या तू नवाब है कहीं का और क्या मैं थप्पड़ लगा देना तेरे तो दादा हो गया कहीं क्या हाथ कैसे लगा रहे हैं क्यों जाओ ऑल ऑफ अ सडन द साइक्लर्स ग्रैब द बाइकर बाय हिज आर्म एंड ही प्रिवेंटेड हिम फ्रॉम मूविंग ऑन अबाउट हिज डे रिमेंबर दिस मूव ही पुल्ड बिकॉज़ द बाइकर मोस्ट सर्टेनली डिडंट अप्रिशिएट बीइंग टचड हटा ले साइकिल को यहां से खवाड़ा को अब दिमाग भी है एक तो साइकिल गिरा दी कमाना बोलने से After the slap, the cyclist was left in a state of a shock because he surely didn't expect this type of outcome. Even though it shouldn't come as a surprise at all, when you start trouble, you need to be ready for it as well. What do you want? Do you want money? Do you want money? Yes. 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 At this point, it looks like they made peace and the conversation started to flow normal again. Cyclist apologized for his bad behavior and the biker accepted the apology. It's just too bad the things had to get a bit physical for them to understand the true value of things. Chal jaye yahan se abhi. Yahan ke guys dekh rahe ho ye bachcha bhank ke pura mood spoil kar diya mera. Kevin. Am I what? Is it taking a picture of me right now? No. What's it doing in outer space? What is it doing? Huh? Your helmet is flashing. 
Why? I don't know. It's got a red light flashing. I don't know. Have you ever looked at yourself? No, I can't see myself. I need a mirror. Look at Pero oh. today wins five bites to one. Yeah. He's 12. Have I don't want to crush his spirit. Don't crush his spirit. I won't, but with my tools, I could easily hurt him worse, but not just with my hand, see? Yeah. That's this was my sweet. hand with no tool. This hand, no bites. Sweet. Yeah, it is. Eventually, the biker reversed out of the parking without having to argue with her, even though this encounter had all the elements of a crazy road rage. Biker found himself in a rush hour as he was on his way back home. If there is anything the biker didn't count on, that would be to get hit by a driver who was reversing without looking at his mirrors. Can you believe the nerve of this driver here, folks? I mean, he's clearly at fault for not looking where he was going, and instead of admitting his mistake and apologizing to the biker, this crazy guy started to escalate the situation even more. I want you to pay close attention at the driver and his body language here. He's constantly ducking to check the front end of the bike and he's gesturing to the biker that there is no damage at all. In my opinion, a simple apology on driver's behalf and a humble attitude will fix all of this. It's common sense that if you treat people with respect and kindness, you will get the same treatment back. Ça prend 5 minutes, c'est vous qui faites des histoires pour rien. 
Euh, non, moi j'ai pas de constat. Ah, non, si, là. Non, ça c'est pas un constat. Et une seconde, chef. Ouais, ça c'est un constat, c'est bon. Allez, go. Voilà. Allez. Ça va prendre 5 minutes à faire. Fixation, perte. hein. Fixation aussi tout. Ah non, mais hey, je sais. Non, 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 non. Mais quoi Appelle la police. Ouais. Fixation aussi tout. Vas-y, appelle la police. Fixation aussi tout. Je sais pas d'autre qu'il y a d'un minute Non, 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 Tu m'as roulé sur le pneu, qu'est-ce qu'il y a là Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire C'est toi qui me roule dessus Moi je vois les fixations, après je suis pas expert Mais je sais pas combien ça coûte moi des fixations Je te les rembourse, y'a aucun souci Fixations, je te les rembourse in this video, we have a crazy road rage unfold right before our very eyes. The biker pulled over to the side to capture it all on his camera. It would appear that the police are searching the vehicle for evidence, while some people outside got into a heavy raging argument. At the same time, it's kinda sad and unfortunate to see how people are living and to what they brought their lives to. It's like no one has any more empathy left in themselves. And it looks like all hope is crushed for these people out here. Talking about the police, another thing that struck me was how casual they were while dealing around these people. Just looking at the whole situation, one would say that they don't care at all about what is going on and what will happen to these people. Regardless of that, I think that the cops should have intervened there and make the two leave the scene. There are people walking past and no one likes to hear yelling and shouting for no real reason. The cops stopped the vehicle they were searching in the end and there was that. This biker was filming the police on their work and he had every right to do so. According to the first amendment, you had the right to film anyone or anything in a public space. Unfortunately, this Darren didn't like it, and this is what happened next. Why am I filming? Because it's my first amendment, right? <laughs> what are you going to do with the footage? Whatever I want to do with it. I just told you, whatever I want to do with it. Just leave me alone, please. 
Love this country. In this situation here, the biker filtered at the top of the queue, and he got rear-ended by a Karen who was not paying attention at the road ahead. Luckily, the impact was not strong and the biker was not injured, but Karen's self-entitled behavior struck the biker's nerve. Poważna pani jest, mam wszystko nagrane. Pani wjechała mi w tym motocykla. No, no i co, że się zatrzymałem? No bo tu trzeba zobaczyć, czy, czy nikt mi nie wyjedzie. Nie szkodzi pani jadąc za mną ma obowiązek pilnować tego, czy ja się zatrzymuję, czy nie. Widział, że przechodziła kobieta przed. Na no dobrze, niech pani pokaże to nagranie. To znaczy tak czy siak jestem przekonany, że jakbym zadzwonił na policję, to jest, to jest pani wina, bo pani nie, nie może... Ja stoję przed, przed pasami, a pan mi się zahamował przed pasami. Tak, tylko pani ruszyła i wjechała mi w motocykl. Ale pan nie ruszyła... I to nie, nie chodzi o to, że ja, czy ja... Believe it or not, but this Karen refused to admit her mistake no matter what. And after the biker realized that there is no point in talking to her, he turned around and simply left. Remember that it's always a better option to walk away rather than to lose your time and patience on someone who's that stubborn. Mm -hmm. Nic się na szczęście nie stało. Ja się, ja się nie wywróciłem. Ale... With this clip, we conclude another raging episode on Maxime channel. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and learning something out of all these crazy encounters you saw. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to leave a like, because it will really help us out a lot. While you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell button to stay up to date with all the latest clips. Until the next one, ride safe and stay safe.